So this is going to be like a formal exposition of the terminology of the harmonic system. Then we can use that terminology to talk about any kind of music, Western, Eastern, Martian, you know, <laughs> whatever. Okay? So we're going to start from something that everybody knows, the major scale. Now, I'm going to only use the white notes. So, what is a major scale? Right. You have here 12 steps in the octave. Right? So, even though there's 12 steps in the octave, we're only using seven keys. So, what is the major scale? Okay. It's from C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Now, the distance between C and D is two half steps. The distance between D and E is two half steps. The distance between E and F is only one half step. Then two, 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 one. So this pattern, whole step, whole step, half step, whole step, whole step, whole step, half step, is what we call a major scale, or the Ionian mode. All right? So, we're going to derive everything from this scale. All right. So we got now the scale, which is a series of whole steps and half steps. Usually most of them are whole steps except between three and four and seven and eight. So we're going to talk about, instead of talking about numbers, C, D, E, F, and all that, we're going to talk, I'm sorry, instead of talking about notes, C, D, E, F, we're going to talk about numbers, because then we can abstract it for any key. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Okay. So now, let's talk about third. We're talking about seconds so far. This is a major second, two half steps. And this is a minor second, one half step. So now let's talk about thirds. This is a major third. There's one, two whole steps. But then, this is a minor third three half steps. See? One, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, so then when, as we go up the scale, this is also a minor third, a major third, a major third, and a minor third, and a minor third. Okay? So in other words, starting from one, one is always a major third, Two is always a minor third. Three is always a minor third. Four is always a major third. Five is always a major third. Six is always a minor third. Seven is always a minor third. Okay? I, I'm going somewhere with this. <laughs> okay? Next thing we want to talk about is triads. This is a major triad. It has a major third and a minor third, okay? Then the next one is a minor triad. It has a minor third in the bottom and a major third on top. So it's just the inverse. So now, just like every major scale is gonna be major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, minor, thirds. 
every major scale is going to be a major triad, minor triad, minor triad, major triad, major triad, minor triad, and then diminished. What is diminished? It's two minor thirds. One, minor, minor. So every major scale in any key, in any music system, will always have that sequence of intervals, that sequence of triads. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor, diminished. Now let's talk about seventh chords. <laughs> this is where it gets really interesting. <laughs> So we go up by thirds. So the the one major one seventh chord is always going to be a major seventh. What is a major seventh? A major third, a minor third, and a major third. But then this is a minor seventh. What is a minor seventh? A minor third. A major third and a minor third. I'm going to diagram this all out for the for the description of the video. Okay. Now this one. What do we got? A minor third, a major third, and a minor third. What quality of chord is that? Minor seventh. Exactly. Then the next one. Major seventh. Major seventh, because it's got major, minor, major. Now, what's this? Um, major third, a minor third, and, then a minor third. and another minor third. Um, it's a dominant seventh. Okay. Dominant seventh. So far now we have major seventh, minor seventh, and dominant seventh. Sounds better down here. Now what is this again? Minor third, major third, minor third. And minor seventh. So it's a minor seventh. And then the seventh chord, we have minor third, minor third, major third. This is a tricky one. This is what's called a half diminished seventh. <laughs> okay? A fully diminished seventh would be like this. Minor, minor, minor. But the half diminished seventh has a dominant seventh. Or minor seventh. Okay. So that means that every major scale in every key has the same sequence of intervals, scale intervals, thirds, triads, and seventh chords. So let's go through it again. Major scale. Major, major, minor. Major, 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 minor. Seconds. Thirds. Major, minor, minor, major, major, major. major. Oh, sorry. Minor, minor, major. Triads. Major, minor, minor, major, major, minor. Diminished, major. Seventh chords. Major, minor, minor, major. Dominant, minor, half diminished, major. That's it. That's all there is to harmony. That's all you ever need to know. That's the, the structure, the, the, the scaffold on which the whole edifice of harmony is built. So, how does this work out in actual music? Well, every song has a key. We're going to use C major here. So, in the key of C major, we have... Sounds better here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. But in practical music, we have patterns. 
like one, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. See, they they jump around by intervals, but the the elements, the chords themselves. I always follow these patterns, okay? Now, everything is clear so far? Mm -hmm. Great. So how do we get this thing called a major scale, all right? First of all, remember, the notes of the scale, we're gonna call them one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and one, all right? But where does that come from? Why is it that way? Well, it has its origins in what's called the harmonic series. The harmonic series is a physical law that every object in the universe follows. Okay? Every object in the universe has a, a natural frequency of vibration. And that's called the fundamental, or the first harmonic. Okay? Now let's say just for the purposes of illustration, that this is 100 hertz, 100 cycles. The second harmonic is going to be 200, and that's an octave, meaning eight notes. Can I ask a question? Sure. So what was just when you say hertz, and then you say cycles? Cycles per second. So, cycles of the wave frequency. Right, the frequency, like you can see here on the... It's flickering. Yeah, it's moving, right? So how, how does it move? Or how many complete cycles of vibration in one second? Uh, okay, so the more cycles, the higher the pitch. Right. And the way it goes is, if this is 100, this will be 200. Then the third harmonic is... 300, then 400, then 500, 600, 700, 800. See? An octave is simply double the frequency, 100 to 200. A fifth, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, is 200 to 300, a ratio of 2 to 3. And from the third harmonic to the fourth harmonic is a ratio of three to four. See? So this 400 is twice this 200, which is twice this 100. Okay? And then it gets interesting because from here to here is from one to three, four to five, five to six, six to seven, seven to eight. See? So we, all these harmonics are like 100, 200, 300, 400, 500, 600, 700, 800, 900, 1,000, <laughs> and so on, okay? So the notes of the scale are derived from the intervals in the harmonic series. From the first seven harmonics, you can generate all the notes of the scale, even the chromatics. It's complicated, and I'm not going to go into it now, but like, take my word for it. <laughs> it's heavy math. You know? okay. I don't want to go beyond just ordinary fractions. So anywho, so now we have, um, what do we have? <laughs> And then we have all these harmonies. All right. Everybody knows by ear. Mm. But what, what are they? Right. Well, this is just a, it's called a circle of fifths. Right? One, four, seven, three, six, two, five, one. That's the circle of fifths. Because if you start from one note, and, or actually circle of fourths. See? <laughs> Go up by fourths, or down by fifths.
So that circle of fourths or circle of fifths is the, like the yin-yang that ties everything together in harmony. Right? And it's all based on the major scale, most of the time. <laughs> but we don't have to use the major scale. We don't, we don't have to start with this note. What if we start with this note? This is called the Dorian mode. And all this is, is the same scale starting from the second note. This is what we call usually the harmonic minor or the natural minor scale. And you hear this a lot. Rock and roll, blues, jazz, very common. Yahoo! Fireworks. <laughs> In India, any excuse for fireworks will do. Yeah. Um, okay, so we can have we can have this, and this is called, in raga, this is called uh, rag kafi. Huh? So you can have a whole tonality based on the minor, okay? And then it's like... Third, the Phrygian scale, or on the fourth, the Lydian scale, or the fifth is a Mixolydian scale, the sixth is the Aeolian, and the seventh is the Locrian mode. So all of these are also ragas, and all of them have emotional, deep emotional associations that we learn culturally by listening to music. So that's the basic structure of music, of harmony, of scales. Okay, now we don't have to start from C even, you know. We can start from E flat. change the key, but that same basic structure is going to follow us into any key that we're at, and our ear is going to expect the next step, either stepwise, like this, or by cycle, circle of fifths. What is that chord you're doing? You're doing a, no, a seventh chord and then you're doing a different kind of chord. Oh, it's the same chord, it's just an inversion. A different voicing. Okay. Yeah, that's all. Yeah, yeah. It's easier to play that way. Yeah, Otherwise, yeah. Otherwise, I'd be having to jump up and down. Yeah, it probably sounds better as well. It, it sure does, because it's better voice leading. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's a whole other subject. Stepwise <laughs> movement. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. So, what are we doing here? Okay, we've got almost 19 minutes, so that's enough. Yeah.